<coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Smoking is bad. Um, as I said in the beginning, <laughs> um, for the art, uh, they do have a really good lineup for the early mid game pushing, and they executed it really good because that there is some miscommunication by STFU gaming where one hero went in and yeah, that sort of messed up the early mid game. But yep. fear not, they can still do it. No, I, I, I think it is a bit too late for STFU, but um, as you say, Forsaken Archer is still just trying to level up there. But um, Corrupt Disciple is more, more than a match with the healing and um, defensive capabilities that his team ends up giving him. Especially with Demented Shaman on the team, able to help out. But um, here we go then, we might see this push down the centre. Corrupt Disciple is on speed, don't do drugs either, he's going around pretty fast waiting. Um, we'll uh, see, Slither uh, gets caught there by Forsaken Archer. Oh, he's gonna get jumped by Pestilence. Slither goes down. Boom. Wow, oh, very quick. That was good. <laughs> yeah. It was the double armor reduction. Wow, Forsaken Archer took about half health there from just those um, puzzle box minions alone. From yeah. Let's find out who's 600 got true damage. I think it might have been Slither who actually had the puzzle box. But Polywog has also got his staff the staff the master. This gold input now is um still it's still only a spell my maths is right, it's seven thousand lead, but um get it first and it's really helping and with corrupted going for his um shield break as well. Uh, I'm not Both sure about the dimensioned dimension shaman, he's going for um again <laughs> I can't remember the item. Assault cuirass, you know? Yeah, but I do, and it shouldn't be long since um, till we see it. Yeah, yeah so demonic can... breastplate. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not sure if that is the the obvious choice to go. I think that he would. He should have gone um, staff of the master on dimension shaman for the uh, the extra plus armor charge. So they could, when they do it, initiate, they can have it. Um, on for them for about 20 seconds. I think it's about 32 seconds long. Yep. Well, thanks for the camera and helping. We'll just we'll use all sort of credit of being actual, or at least me. You've you got an excuse. <laughs> me being a caster, I shouldn't have that problem. Um, short term memory loss always you know, still affects me. Um, here we go then. It's, it's nice to have a. <laughs> it's so nice. Oh, we see here top Polywalk Priest gets initiated on. Oh, he's gonna fal get Falcon punched. Oh my god. Yep, they go. That portal keys then do come in handy. Finally, you know, being able to use aggressively and get those kills. Um, having to back off now as soon as yeah, possible. Deadwood hasn't got much mana. Oh, but he's got a bottle, don't worry. But, yeah, it's. Yeah, too little, too late. Let's see if you aren't gonna give up though anytime soon. But yeah, I'm still waiting for uh, for second archer's items. I think she's gonna maybe save for a uh, uh, rebuy when they push, or else she's gonna she's possibly gonna get the um, symbol of rage, as I was told it's called. Yep. <laughs> it's always nice to have a. Be important soon. It's always nice to have a pro shoutcaster uh, with gaming experience not knowing the name of the items. Ah, but you know, in, in my defense, you know, I, I just pretend as if I know stuff. You actually play actual tournaments, so um, who's worse here? We'll let the viewers decide later. <laughs> <laughs> it's my yeah, I know. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna bite me in the... yeah. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Yeah. Um, we, we see a uh, 40R, they're turtling a bit, they're not, they don't wanna, uh, how can you say, continue on their way, they're trying to, oh, catch Pestilence there, but he blinks out, but he's alone, but yep, they don't have anyone to catch. Um, uh, we see Polywalk coming a bit further away. Yep, he's getting there soon, there he is then. And we can I'm see gonna see that. We're, uh, we're, I, I think the Forsaken Archer is gonna get this home. She's making. 
Oh, a savage maze. So it's full on DPS. Yep, no buybacks. So oh, it's gonna Slithers be get risk, caught. Slither get caught. Are they gonna go? They're gonna go on the Slither. Second there they go. The and they help bring the ultimate. Oh, and Slither <laughs> goes down instantly. Damage going all around. Oh. Action here. Crook Lots of action goes up. up. Pestilence is oh. beating him down. Has finally got his ultimate on him. Down he goes. Oh. Ophelia's trying Crook to run Rats away. I'm gonna have to stun here from Pestilence. <laughs> Shaman has to be careful. Corrupt is gonna be is he's gonna be able to keep stunning him all the time. Oh and he didn't he's gonna get away. Him. But oh, this going is going down. It's getting a bit dangerous in the base with the first uh, um, first tower down at the world tree, but again really nice action initiating on the slither. It's it's the thing that the one thing that might carry their uh, victory home. Cause right now the Forsaken Archer is yeah, the main carry of this game. I mean, no other hero can touch her right now. And with the uh, combos from the uh, teammates executed perfectly, as we see here, the uh, 4DR team doesn't stand a chance. So, I'm foreseeing <laughs> again that 4DR must have some sort of gank. It will be good to see some, um, some more wards out and possibly going Congor since it's up again. Getting yep. a token of life and a banana. SDF, you have definitely got to be really careful though. Um, if 4DR can just pin him to the side like they do, uh, these creeps are going to do all the work for him, to be honest. They took out one tower in that fight and a lot of those little huts, killing a couple of innocents in there as well. So if they can keep pinning him to the side with all five having to um, keep their full attention on him, you know, the creeps are going to do it for them. But um, it's been great use. You've seen that his last, twi um, last two fights, they've been focusing in on Sliver. He's been the major damage dealer with his ultimate. And so they've just been trying to get rid of him before he can do anything quite successfully. And, you know, the results have shown it. But, um, Congo is now back, and it might be a third time lucky here for, for, for the R, and they're going to probably get the kill off course on Congo and then the push. Yeah, STFU Gaming, they have no idea they're doing Congo now. They have no, no map awareness whatsoever. And they're pre pretty spread out on the map, so there are no chance they could Congo that. Yeah. Um, we see also bananas have been dropped, which is, um, you know, it, in a way it's a little bit of a mini token of life in itself, giving you 2,500 um, health, which is probably just as much as any of these heroes on the field would have got at the moment. Tower well, goes I, don't down know if it's, I don't know if it's wise to put the banana on Slither, because as you've seen the last two fights, he goes down and he doesn't have time to do even uh, uh, trigger his ultimate, because he just gets stunned, 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 and then die. But we'll see how it plays out. Yep, they're hoping he has a, a second at least to be able to use it. Um, push middle, but as I said earlier, down bottom, massive creep wave coming Slither in. Slither get initiated on by Pestilence again. No, dead within. Oh, oh dead and he gets stunned. <laughs> oh, and he gets piece. owned so fast. Oh, and for sake, the corrupted disciple gets owned. Pestilence have run in there and Deadwood. We're going to see Corrupted go down. They were waiting, and Ophelia, they might be backing off here. Polywog has and got haste. Needed. Pestilence taking her off. Down it goes. Oh, but the the last tower of the world tree goes down. Yep. Uh, definitely gonna have to leave someone in there at all times now, keeping an eye on it. Oh, no but now push. this Slicker guy who's playing uh, Forsaken Archer, he's like the happiest guy in the world right now. I mean, there's no funnier hero to play than a fed Forsaken Archer with split fire. It's just go on lane farm with one button. It's yep. It's a good feeling. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to be doing her best now to push these creeps back. Um, they might have had a possible chance there. Well, not really, but um, up top it's the last lane obviously which isn't getting pushed back automatically by the creeps and it was right up against the tower, defensive tower. It's the first time they've been touched in off probably about 30 minutes. Um, that's 40 the tower. But as I said, we're going to see Forsaken Archer now, just keep these um, creeps back far enough as long as possible. And then hopefully, well, maybe even push a lane then, if the team can get together. And I've just seen um, 
uh, uh, for 